Greetings, all! Today, we will be examining the mythical Steel-type Pokémon Meltan and its evolution Melmetal, the two collectively known as the Hexnut Pokémon. Mysterious in form and origin, but more than able to turn heads in more ways than one, the members of the Meltan family are unique creatures that can prove that the Steel-types can come in many shapes and sizes when needed. Meltan have small bodies made mostly out of liquid metal that forms the base of their torso and can be morphed to form shapes like small appendages and the like for interacting with their surroundings. Their head is made of a large gilded hex nut that contains a single small black sphere that acts as their eye, and they further sport a small red tail that resembles a piece of electrical wiring with a pair of two copper-like bits that poke out of the end. Their evolved form, Melmetal, have a much larger, bulkier form with their main torso and arms still being comprised of liquid metal, save for a single large grey hex nut in the middle of their torso, but their head has sunken into their body partly for protection, and they further sport a gilded hex nut at the base of the neck, and large bulging bits of metal on their frame that resemble giant grey hex nut bits. This is especially prominent at their shoulders, feet, and elbows, with a pair of especially large hex nuts forming fist-like nodules at the end of their arms to use for combat purposes. It is further known that Melmetal have access to a Gigantamax form, and in this state, their proportions have changed to give them much thinner legs and torso, with a series of three hex nut bits at the end of their arms for greater offensive output, the head bolt sinking in even further to vanish completely, granting them a more humanoid appearance as a whole. Meltan and all form Melmetal are completely unique among Steel-type Pokémon because, while the bodies are made of a substance that seems more in line with modern materials, they are actually incredibly ancient, being older than 3,000 years when their existence was first originally catalogued by cultures in the Middle East and elsewhere. These strange creatures possess bodies that are made out of two distinct types of metal. The main bodies are comprised of a mercury-like metal that generally remains in a liquid state at room temperature under normal circumstances, allowing them to bend and mold the body relatively freely into any shape they desire, especially in the case of Meltan, and they use this to help them grip and move along any surface they come to. The top part of their body is instead made of a sturdy, conductible metal that is a solid at room temperature and forms a shape similar to a modern hex nut, suggesting that the design of such metal pieces was at least somehow partially based off of these creatures. Both of these metals are able to conduct an electric current readily from the motion of the liquid metal portion of their bodies, and thus grant these creatures access to several different electric type moves, as well as sole access to the magnet pull ability as Meltan, being replaced with Iron Fist in Evolution as a consequence of Melmetal's use of its immense upper frame to inflict damage, the central eye in the middle of the head doubling as a focusing beacon that they use to charge up their projectile moves before firing them outwards. Electricity in turn serves as their primary power source, and while they cannot easily generate it on their own to the point of being considered electric types, it nonetheless is a good tool for them to use to defend themselves, as they are otherwise fairly limited in the types of moves they can learn naturally. Despite their awkward appearances, these creatures are actually quite friendly and prefer to be in natural environments over artificial ones, which might explain why they suddenly disappeared 3,000 years ago before appearing again very recently in modern times, likely as the world is turning to a healthier, more sustainable mode of growth and energy usage, and the need for industrialization of the natural world is diminishing. While they might be rather weak when young, their fully evolved state, Melmetal, are incredibly powerful brutes that make up for their crippling slow movement speeds and limited special attributes with pure bulk and immense physical power and resilience, their base special attack stat being about average, and the base HP attack and defense stats being above average for a fully evolved steel type Pokemon, rendering them a terrifying force to have to confront in any close quarters. Militan on their own are interesting creatures that might not have much the way of power, but they are more than able to make any day brighter for others. These creatures naturally exude a unique acid that allows them to break down any metal their bodies come into contact with, absorbing the metals into their bodies and using it to not only repair themselves, but also to form a composite metal inside of them that it can break down to create energy in the form of electricity, which as mentioned before, is what helps to fuel their bodies and powers. While they are seemingly developing a partial taste for man-made goods, they generally prefer to acquire these metals from the subsoil out in the wild, and are quite efficient at doing so without proving to be a serious strain on the environments they live in, only taking in as much as their tiny bodies need to survive. Meltan are incredibly curious, and will gladly explore their environment to their heart's content when not feeding, which can get them into trouble, but this really puts them in danger as they can easily warp and flex their bodies to avoid many attacks, even if their movement speed is actually quite slow and a quick escape is rarely an option. Despite the fact that they tend to be a bit skittish towards strangers initially, Meltan are quite friendly as a whole, and will gladly interact with anything that garners their interest, even if it is not always in their best interest. This can make them great pets to the very few who are lucky enough to find them, as while they can often prove to be a bit troublesome, their docile nature and loving disposition make them very entertaining and the perfect friend to curl up with when you're feeling down, 
especially since the metal their bodies are comprised of and the acid exudes are non-toxic and too large on a molecular level for them to readily seep into the pores of fleshy creatures and poison them. Melaton are normally unable to evolve in any real capacity, but when at least a hundred of these creatures gather and live together in the communal groups they're typically found in, they have the power to merge their bodies into a single mass as one Melaton absorbs all the others, transforming it into the physical juggernaut known as Melmetal. While they're no faster than their pre-evolved form, these creatures have a body form that's not only much, much heavier and larger than their initial form, but it's also much more powerful and capable of withstanding the harshest of physical blows with ease. The liquid metal that forms most of their body is actually more plastic in this form than straight liquid, but while this means that they can only be moved a little bit fluidly, this form helps to amplify the physical defenses immensely and grants them an incredible degree of stamina, making them very hard to take down with physical attacks alone. However, what is of most interest is the parts of the body that have solidified, as they form hex nut like structures on their neck, torso, feet, arms, and hands, the latter of which allows them to deal punching blows in close quarters strong enough to turn bone to powder in an instant making them a formidable force in any combat scenario. Though it is known that these parts will break down into metal shards at the end of their lifetime, which will then go on to form new Meltan. This not only allows them to learn a host of new moves inaccessible to Meltan, including the Thunder Punch attack, which is learned immediately after evolving, and the Mega Punch, Protect, Discharge, Dynamic Punch, Super Power, and Hyper Beam moves, but especially translates into the signature attack, the Double Iron Bash attack, in which they twist their plastic torso and rotate the central hex nut on their upper torso, to swing their arms around at a relatively high speed, using the immense centrifugal force behind them to slam their metallic fists into targets twice with brutal force that is painful enough to have an incredibly high chance of causing the opposition to flinch, provided a metal can strike first. This is rarely easy for them to do as a result of their slow movement speed in battle, as the base speed stat does not improve for all in evolution as already mentioned, but it does little to detract from the incredible power of the attack steel wields. Interestingly though, despite possessing the strongest punch in the Pokemon world and the capacity to learn many new moves outside the normal move pool of Meltan, in ancient times, these creatures were actually worshipped for their ability to generate metal seemingly out of thin air, making them incredibly valuable to ancient societies. We now understand that this power comes courtesy of them being able to absorb metal from the ground and air and extrude it from their bodies, but this nonetheless was enough for them and Meltan to be especially noted in ancient texts regarding metalworking. The fact that they only are now reappearing after 3,000 years means that the impact in society is still up in the air, but because they thankfully seem to show the same curious and pleasant dispositions shown by the pre-evolved form, it can at least be said that they are thankfully not a true threat to anyone, and more akin to gentle giants that prefer to love and care for others over destroying everything in their path, even if that's something that they are more than equipped to be able to do in almost any situation. Lastly, it is known that Melmetal is one of only a small number of Pokemon capable of undergoing the process of Gigantamaxing, with specific members of this species taking on a unique form when they are Dynamaxed in battle. In this form, these creatures possess even more elastic bodies that they can use to strike with their massive Hexnut fists even at range, slamming the fists together as giant fists that can pulverize even the strongest of opponents. They can further use the liquid metal flowing inside them to generate and fire beams of electrical energy from the Hexnut in their abdomen, vaporizing entire heels and likely the opposition in one shot. Not surprisingly, ancient texts and legends referring to Cyclopean giants in the Galar region are now mainly attributed to these Gigantamaxed monsters. While it might only be a temporary state for them, the immense power that flows through them while in this state allows Melmetal to utilize a unique G-Max move known as G-Max Meltdown, which takes the standard max steel spike attack and includes powerful shockwaves and swirling liquid metal that can stop opponents from using the same move multiple times in a row, allowing these monsters as a whole to use their Dynamax power to the fullest to keep the opposition from abusing its best moves and dealing consistent damage in battle. These metallic beasts are certainly among the most unusual Pokemon I have ever met, and while they might not seem all that dangerous at first, their sure might they could potentially wield is incredible no matter how you look at it. Meltan are utterly adorable little critters that can make for fun companions for just about anyone that is able to take good care of them and keep them happy. Their pendant feeding metal might make them a bit dangerous to have around places like metal shops, but at the same time they can be the perfect way to recycle metal that has little other use, so they can still have their place in such environments. Melmetal are massive hulking brutes that wield incredible physical might and stamina and can indeed pulverize even the most well armored of foes to dust with their incredible might. They might be heavily limited in their movement speeds and capacity to handle special damage, but for what they do have, they are masters at their craft and can be the perfect physical bruiser to rely on if you're ever lucky enough to find yourself in possession of one of them. Though their evolutionary requirements might be more than most can really handle, 
The members of the Melitan family are nonetheless incredibly fascinating creatures that can more than show the full power of metal in practice. With flexible and potent bodies and a signature move that can knock anyone that gets in the way more than senseless, there is no doubt these beasts deserve the reverence they oftentimes receive from those that stumble upon them. Just do yourself a favor and make sure that you can handle the might these beasts can wield when the moment calls for it, because if you get in the way of their attacks, you might find yourself splattered either against the wall or into a clumpy mist once they make contact with their incredible bashing strikes. Thank you all for watching this video. It always brings me great joy to see others enjoying the work I do to try and make the world of Pokemon and the fascinating creatures that lay inside of it feel as real as they possibly can. If you really enjoy my work, please feel free to leave a comment and subscribe as I always do my best to respond to any and all comments that are left on my videos. In addition, if you wish to learn more about my work and help support it, you can find links to my Patreon page as well as email and other contact information to my work on DeviantArt in the video description down below. Furthermore, you can find a link to my Discord server there as well if you'd like to get a first glimpse at what videos are coming up next and converse with other fans of the world of Pokemon. Thank you for taking the time to watch this and have a wonderful rest of your day.